Tesla cozies up to Siri a bit, makes another automation acquisition, loses an important leadership position, and more. This is Tesla Tidbits, episode number 320 for November 7th, 2017. We lead with Electrek today, where Tesla continues to improve the features on its cars to ever further prove its stranglehold as the leader of technology in the space. Not that there was any doubt of this whatsoever. Fred takes us on a quick video tour of Tesla's efforts to integrate with Siri on Apple's iPhone. He shows us a couple of the working features where he's able to unlock the car and flash the lights, but strangely is unable to lock the car and Siri redirects you to the app. It's interesting to see that Siri is pretty aware of some of the possible commands, but they're just not quite implemented yet. As I'm soon to get myself an Apple device, I'll keep an eye on it and keep you posted. Sticking with Electrek, we see Tesla driving ever forward toward the automation of all things. Tesla today announced the acquisition of Perbix, a company that specializes in factory automation equipment. Via a statement in the Star Tribune, Tesla said, quote, Perbix, which has been a Tesla supplier for nearly three years and has executed flawlessly on a number of extremely complex automation projects, will be fully integrated to Tesla. Moving forward, we will be expanding our presence and recruiting efforts in the Twin Cities area as we continue to build the machine that builds the machine, end quote. Over to Teslarati, where we discover another important departure from the company. The Directory of Battery Engineering, John Wagner, has packed up his desk and headed for a new opportunity at a battery and powertrain startup. Wagner led the charge to improve the Model S and Model X battery pack, as well as R&D that ultimately made the Model 3 and Powerwall what they are today. Given Tesla's issues with Model 3 battery production right now, this would seemingly come at the most inopportune of times. As with others departing the company, though, I wish John the very best at his next stop. We end tonight on a YouTube video forwarded to me by a listener named Nevada that is an everyman's review of the Model 3. The host states from the outset that he's not a Tesla fan nor a detractor, and it's quite interesting to get a take from someone that is literally who the car is aimed at. In my admittedly biased opinion, he's got some valid critiques, while at the same time really overemphasizing some things that really aren't that big a deal in his final review score. Regardless, I think the 32 minutes are worth your time to check out and get a fresh viewpoint on our favorite new car. Make sure you check out the links to the full stories in the show description. While you're at it, check out the Patreon at patreon.com slash Tidbits. Thanks as always to my super patrons, John Waltower, Drew Schuyler, John Waller, Mark and Sarah Thomas, Ryan Scarborough, Lee Sweet, William Henry Crew III, Dorian Steve Guberman, Bruno Quindici, John Rich, and Joey Boots for supporting the show at the $10 plus level. Be sure to show your love on YouTube, iTunes, and other services across the internet, or use the show referral code ts.la slash jon4602 if you're in the market for a new Tesla. It's good for free supercharging for the life of the vehicle. Also, don't forget about my Extra Life charity event. Visit the donation link at bit.ly slash tt-el2017. That's it for tonight. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits. I'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.